everyone, what's up and welcome back to another video on Mono Sports Talk. So, in this video we're going to be talking about the NWSL, the National Women's Soccer League, and the NBA. First, let's start off with the National Women's Soccer League. This league is going to be starting tomorrow, so it's going to be the first American sports league to restart here in the U.S. and should be really great for all sports fans like me. And, you know, I'm really not that big of a fan of soccer, but... You know, I might just tune in to watch it once in a while. Uh, the first game will be taking place on CBS tomorrow, so that will be on national TV for us to you know, watch. And that will be um, at uh, 11.30 a.m. Central Time. And um, it will be the Portland Thorns FC versus the NC Courage. Um, and the NC Courage are at home for this one. And it will be on CBS, so, um, you know, it might be something for us to watch, you know, I haven't really had much to watch recently, but, um, you know, uh, there have been some sports I've seen on television, like the PGA Tour actually has been going on, I saw it last week, I think, and then there's also some dirt bike racing, um, you know, some other things you can watch, I mean, I thought it was pretty cool, um, you know, because they're kind of limited, until the NBA is going to return in about a month's time. So, anyway, um, though the NWSL, um, it hasn't really gotten a lot of attention, you know, as, you know, the NFL, MLB, NBA generally take uh, the spotlight here, as well as the NHL and MLS. So, um, now, the NWSL might be getting some more coverage these days, considering it's the only league that has restarted as of tomorrow, and, um, you know, you might get more fans, you never know, I might get interested in it too, but, um, in the first game, I already told you about the NC Courage taking on the Portland Thorns, and, uh, they're only gonna have one venue for this entire tournament, they, uh, rescheduled the NWSL to a Challenge Cup tournament, um, that'll be from June 27th to, um, to Sunday, July 26th, so, um, it should be pretty cool, you never know, you know, women's soccer, um, really, really talented soccer players, you know, the U.S. women's soccer team is really good, totally amazing for the best soccer team in the world, they've continuously won the World Cup, and here in the U.S., I'm pretty much certain that the women are better at playing soccer than the men, so, some may disagree, but I'm pretty sure that's how it is, you know. Anyway, so we might see some really good soccer here um, in the U.S. with the Women's League. Um, now, there is um, some big news here because um, there was a team in the National Women's Soccer League that uh, is withdrawing from the tournament, the Orlando Pride, because six players on the team have tested positive for coronavirus COVID-19, so that's why... This team has been drawn because of an outbreak within them, and they can't go on, you know, in this Challenge Cup 2020. And um, so it's going to be an eight-team, 23-game tournament. Um, um, so, yeah, should be really cool. The final, which I think should be pretty awesome, will be on July 26th, 2020. Now, the tournament will be streaming live pretty much the whole entire tournament on CBS All Access. Um, only the first game and the last game will be on CBS, National TV. And you can also stream the games on Twitch if you have an account. So, um, it should be pretty cool to see. Once again, we got some matches on July 4th as well. So, um, if you're interested in that, this will all be in one venue. I already told you, Zion's Bank Stadium in Utah. Um, and the uh, semifinals and finals will be in Rio Tinto Stadium. So, should be pretty cool, uh, you know, especially because, again, there's been nothing going around, but this should be pretty fun, I would say. Now, we're moving on to the NBA. Um, there has been some news of players testing positive for coronavirus, COVID-19, like Nikola Jokic, but um, he's from outside the country, so it should be, um, we don't know if he's going to play. He's probably going to return late. Um, he's, his return to the U.S. is being delayed from Serbia, so, um, and if he doesn't return for, hopefully not for whatever reason, um, 
the Nuggets might be in some big trouble because he is their biggest star, I'd say. One of the most important guys on their team. Um, he tested positive. We also have Malcolm Brogdon of the Indiana Pacers, who also tested positive for the coronavirus. Um, and there's also some news about uh, the NBA's return. Um, some players are dropping out. They don't want to return uh, for the remainder of the season. Now, I understand if, it, if like, your team's not even in it, you know, like, you don't think your team's going to win or whatever. But, like, there was big news about Avery Bradley opting out of the NBA restart because of, uh, cites family as a reason and, uh, you know, just wants to stay, stay, stay safe. I totally get that, you know. Um, we also have uh, Davis Bertans and Trevor Ariza joining Avery Bradley and sitting out the remainder of the NBA season. Uh, obviously, um, the Lakers, one of the top teams to win it all this year, and Avery Bradley is not going to be taking part in that. Um, so I don't know how the Lakers are going to see that. Now, there are some sources saying that the Lakers are targeting J.R. Smith to replace Avery Bradley. You know, Avery Bradley is an outside shooter, the three-point guy on their team. So, you know, never... Obviously, J.R. Smith, not the best, but, you know, if he's hot, he gets real hot, you know. He makes tons of shots, tons of threes we've seen in the finals because when he gets, you know, when he's in that shooting groove, uh, when he's in the zone, you can't stop that, you know. So, anyway, this is the latest updates because of the NBA's return. Now, we also had the breaking news about Vince Carter packing it up, saying he's done. With the NBA, he's retiring from the NBA after 22 years playing in the NBA. So, really great accomplishment there. He's one of the oldest uh, players to ever play in the NBA. He's the first player in NBA history to play it in four different decades. So, and he's currently 43 years old. Um, so, uh, well accomplished uh, player. One of the, We've been, he's been really amazing, an eight-time All-Star and a two-time All-NBA selection. He was uh, the fifth overall pick in the NBA draft to the Toronto Raptors. He put them on the map when he joined. An amazing dunker, amazing, amazing shooter, a uh, great defender. Um, he's played many positions, played with many teams, but um, just an outstanding uh, player, to be honest. And... Um, um, you know, we I think we knew he was kind of re going to retire um, after this year based on everything that's happened in the recent years. Not in the recent years, what's been happening, like, like right now. So, um, anyway, that's pretty much all the news that we have as of right now. Um, haven't really heard of uh, any other leagues starting to resume, like the MLB. There's been lots of talk about whether they're going to resume or not. We really don't know how it's going to be for the MLB. They're thinking it just might have... Going back to Vince Carter, um, he was an NBA Rookie of the Year in 1999 when he first joined with the Toronto Raptors. Um, he was the NBA Slam Dunk Champion in 2000, a Teammate of the Year in 2016, and the Olympic Gold Medal in the year 2000. So, um, you know, he's been there for so long the past... You know, so many years, you know, he's been part of the NBA for so long and um, very athletic, you know, um, you know, just one of the great players, you know, and he's retired. Uh, he's played in 1,541 games, you know, only two other players have played more, Robert Parrish and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So, um, you know, lots of record holders, uh, very high on the all-time scoring list and all that stuff, and... Uh, Pretty much pretty insane stats, by the way. So, Wins Carter um, going to retirement and a great player. Will be remembered. Um, so, yeah, that was pretty much the whole video. Um, it should be pretty cool. Obviously, now going back to the NWSL, the Orlando um, team had some really great players. Um, but, unfortunately, will be not taking part because of what I said, the, um, the, uh, coronavirus outbreak within the team, so, um, anyway, um, should be cool to see, uh, and, 
I guess that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got all the news that you needed to hear. And um, uh, keep uh, keep staying tuned to the channel. Um, I'll try to come out with weekly content. Obviously, I haven't come out with weekly content. You know, have been very limited on the stuff I can do. Just been going over the recent news and all. Um, I've already, I told you guys a long time ago I was going to do the Tom Brady video, um, about whether he was the GOAT or not based on his career in New England. Um, unfortunately I didn't do that. Um, I'm going to try and see if I can do it this week. If not, then I'll have to postpone it, but I will be coming out with predictions for the NBA because it's going to restart in about a month. Um, keep tuned to that, so subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and go ahead and like this video to support.